Okay, I'm going to show you how to mirror your iPad for free using QuickTime Movie Player. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my iPad using the lightning connector. I'm going to plug the lightning end into my iPad and the USB into my Mac. When this happens, it may take a couple seconds. Um, it may ask you if you want to trust this device or trust this computer on your Mac. Since I already have done this, it doesn't seem like it's going to prompt me to do that. But if it does pop up, make sure you hit trust the computer. Um, iTunes might pop up saying uh, it wants to update. Don't worry about any of that at this point. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to QuickTime Player and I'm going to tap on the icon. When this loads, I'm going to go into File and I'm going to do New Movie Recording. When I do that, obviously you can see me here in my office, but if I want to mirror my iPad, I click on this arrow. And when I do click on the arrow, I'm going to find my iPad is um, M-D Peters. When I select that, it may take a second or two, and you're going to see that it's going to mirror the iPad that I have plugged in. So there it is. And I can go back to my home screen. Now the downside to this is that you're tethered. But this is a great way if you want to do a tutorial with your students with apps and you want to show them what it looks like on the iPad, get rid of those document cameras and plug it directly into your iPad. Um, what's, what is also nice is if I make it uh, full screen here, it's really big, and I can use three thing fingers on my trackpad to swipe and go back to my computer. So this is my computer screen, and then my iPad. So if I have a presentation up, I can view my presentation, and then I can go right into my iPad to demonstrate. So if I have this plugged in, um, it's charging, and it's always available for me to do quick demos for my students. So that is why I choose to use uh, the QuickTime Movie Player hack real a lot of times rather than using uh, a wireless software such as Reflector or Air Server because it's really, 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 really reliable and um, also it's just seamless. So if I do something on the iPad, it immediately does it on my screen and there's no lag.